When a metal reacts with oxygen, it produces a metal oxide. So this is the general equation for a metal and oxygen reaction. Here is the word equation for when copper reacts with oxygen. Copper plus oxygen produces copper oxide. And this is what it would look like as a symbol equation. The numbers here are just used to balance the equation. The symbols we get from the periodic table. So we've got copper and oxygen, and because oxygen always goes round as O2, we write it as O2, makes copper oxide. And this is a compound, and the ending oxide is just O. Here is another example. When zinc reacts with oxygen, it produces zinc oxide. And the symbol equation for this is 2Zn plus O2 would make 2ZnO. Here's one for you to try and complete. You might want to pause the video and use the periodic table to help you. Very well done. If you got that magnesium reacting with oxygen makes magnesium oxide. And the symbol equation is 2Mg plus O2 would make 2MgO. If metals are reactive, you don't need heat for them to react with oxygen. When left exposed to the air, they will react with oxygen from the air and an oxide layer will form around the metal. And you'll be able to see this because it often makes the metal go a dull black colour. The oxide layer can be quite useful as it prevents the metal reacting further. So if you have a piece of metal that reacts with oxygen from the air, the very top layer of it will be coated with this oxide layer and that just protects the metal underneath. Some less reactive metals need heat in order for them to react with oxygen. For example, if you heat copper in a Bunsen flame, it will react with oxygen from the air and a black copper oxide layer will form on the metal. Some more reactive metals produce a vigorous reaction when heated in a Bunsen flame. For example, as magnesium is heated in the Bunsen flame, there is a vigorous reaction with oxygen in the air. And you will see a very bright light given off in that reaction, so you'd have to protect your eyes to stop them from being damaged. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSErevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at ScienceSurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos, as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.